four men executed in Iran prisons. In recent days, Iranian authorities executed four prisoners in Babul, Mashhad, Ardabil, and Kemenshah prisons. The regime executed a 26 year old man on Wednesday, April 24th, at Babul prison north of Iran, the state run Rockner news agency reported. He was identified only as Agar. The same media reported the execution of a 30 year old man on Monday, April 22nd. The execution appears to have been carried out in the central prison of Mashhad. In another development on April 18th, a prisoner identified as 45 year old Vali Zanidan was hanged at the central prison of Ardabil. The same day, another prisoner, identified as Jafar Husseini, was executed in Dizalabad prison in Kemenshah, western Iran. Iran regime. MEK activities were extensive and 60 were arrested in East Azerbaijan. The Director General of the Intelligence Ministry's office in East Azerbaijan province, Quadrat Diyalamer, says 60 individuals who had contacts with the MEK have been arrested in the past year. He said on Wednesday, April 24th, that the MEK members had expanded their activities during the last Iranian year. On April 19th, Mahmoud Alavi, the Minister of Intelligence, said, over the past year, 116 teams related to the MEK have been dealt with. Mariam Rajavi, president-elect of the Iranian resistance, once again called for immediate action of the Secretary General of the United Nations, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, and the international human rights organizations to release the arrested and appoint delegations to visit the regime's prisons and meet with political prisoners. UK dismisses Iran prison swap offer as vile. British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt on Thursday dismissed the suggestion of a prisoner swap for a British Iranian mother being held in Tehran as a vile diplomatic ploy, while her husband told AFP that the idea was almost impossible. In New York, Iran regime Foreign Minister Javad Zarif on Wednesday suggested a swap between Nazanin Zaghari Radcliffe and Negar. Godskani, an Iranian woman being held in Australia on a US extradition warrant. Hunt said there was a huge difference between the two women. He said, the woman in jail in Australia is facing due process, a proper legal procedure, and she is alleged to have committed a very serious crime. Zagari Radcliffe is innocent, she has done nothing wrong. What is unacceptable about what Iran is doing is that they are putting innocent people in prison and using it as leverage. U.S. sanctions cost French automaker 10% in lost sales. The 2019 first quarter sales of the French automaker Peugeot Citroën declined 15.7% to 884,000 vehicles, mainly due to U.S. sanctions which have stopped sales to Iran. According to an official statement released by the group PSA, the parent corporation, two-thirds of the decline was due to the lack of exports to Iran. In the first quarter of 2018, Peugeot Citroën sold 108 units to Iran. The vehicles were sold in kits and partner companies in Iran assembled the cars. In 2017, before the US decision to pull out of the nuclear agreement with Iran and reimpose economic sanctions, the company sold 444,000 units to Iran. Iraq says it has enough oil capacity to meet customer needs. Iraq's oil minister said on Thursday his country has the capacity to increase its oil production to 6 million barrels per day if needed, but it was committed to OPEC-led output cuts and would not take unilateral action to boost supply. The mayor Gaban also said that there was no acute oil shortages for the time being, but Iraq would continue to monitor the market to assess any need for additional barrels at the next OPEC meeting in June.